Hey everyone, uh, this is Mike Vadon here, and I want to show you something about um, how to hack a Gmail account. Now, in the news, you see a lot of accusations flying about, you know, Russia hacked John Podesta's Gmail account. But I think it's a lot simpler than, you know, what, what they put out to, uh, they, what they put out there about you know, Russian intelligence and stuff. It, everyone believes Gmail is very, very secure. It's not. No email is secure. It can be hacked in a number of ways. You know, first, someone could just be standing over you while you're answering your Gmail password, right? Just like that. Get your password. So, and it, it, sometimes people don't even have to hang over you. They could sit there and zoom in with a, uh, with a camera and, you know, be looking. Right. Um, it, it, it doesn't have to be as sophisticated as they're saying out there. So let's let's look up here. I did a search here. How to hack a Gmail account. Right. How to hack into an email account with just your victim's mobile phone number. Right. Right here. Right here. And it shows you shows you number of ways. It's got a, like a video here of how you can do it yourself. Um, you know, just by sending a text message, uh, you know, pretending like you're Google, you get the verification code. Uh, the hacker enters in the verification code into uh, into Google, right? This right here, this is, wow. <laughs> Maybe after this, reading this thing, uh, Google should change its security procedures over there. It, it doesn't look like Gmail is really that secure. And here, look, there's just a number of different ways you know, and how you can how you can hack someone's Gmail account. Um, the big mistake that John Podesta made was was trying to do business over one of these generic email accounts like Gmail or Rocket Mail, what have you. This is not secure. It's it's not secure at all. Obviously, someone had his password. They were typing it in and stuff like that. You know, and there's a lot of different ways, but you don't need to be uh, you know, Russian intelligence to do all this stuff. And look, you see, look, articles here dating back. Here's one, Acker collects 272 email addresses and passwords. Um, you know, different things, but it it's false. You don't need to be, um, you don't need to be Russian intelligence in order to hack someone's email account. It is very, very easy. And my suggestion to you is only send what you need over, you know, over email. Don't have these wide ranging professional discussions like John Podesta. It was totally stupid for him to do that. It was totally stupid for the Clintons to uh, do what they what they call manage by email. Uh, there's a permanent record uh, that is created and it is not secure. There was a chief. There was a chief of police, a local chief of police, Whitecoff, New Jersey, who um, who he got fired from his job uh, because he was he sent the wrong worded email, right? And someone found it. So email very unsecure. Do not, um, you know, do not think that you know it takes like you know the NSA or Russian intelligence to hack into it. Anyone can hack into it. 